I'm Tanith White here at the Olympic Training Center in beautiful Chula Vista, California, catching up with U.S. Paralympic gold medalist April Holmes. I was trapped underneath a train for 17 minutes. I woke up several hours later, and that's when I found out that my leg was amputated. And initially I was devastated because I didn't believe I'd be able to run or play basketball again. There was two sports that I absolutely love to do, um, two sports I've been playing since I was a kid. And now all of a sudden I'm missing my leg, not able to play them, play them anymore, or so I thought. Probably about two weeks after my accident, the doctor um, came in and gave me some magazines about the Paralympics. And then I started telling people, like, this is my dream, this is what I want to do. I've been running track since I've been about five years old, but the very first time I really remember like watching track and field on TV was the 1984 Olympic Games. I, I couldn't get enough of it. And it wasn't just track and field athletes. I, I mean, I remember Greg McGainish jumping. I remember Mary Lou Retton like bouncing around. And of course, you know, you remember Jackie during the curses of the world. And so when I first came out here to the training center um, and they started the Paralympic pro track and field program out here in 2005, I got to come out here and train with Al Joyner. He was a gold medalist, Jackie's a gold medalist, Flojo's a gold medalist, so it has to, so, so, some way, shape, or form that has to pour into me being a gold medalist, and eventually did in 2008. You're going for your fourth Paralympic Games. How do you stay hungry? How do you stay motivated? And how do you get out of bed in the mornings feeling tired and feeling like there's obstacles in front of you? You constantly remind yourself of what your dreams are. You know, every four years it's a reminder, and the country starts to remind you, like, oh, are you going to go for the games? Are you going to go for another one? Are you going to win the gold? You know, go, go, go. Um, so I think the hype around it also kind of helps you be more focused as it comes to going out to practice and doing what you're supposed to do and just keeping you motivated. Where are you in terms of your preparation on your road to Rio? I believe I'm in a great place, but we'll see come, come time for Doha. And then obviously when I step on the track in Rio, I'll definitely be ready. That's all for now, but join us next time when we head east and hit our third Road to Rio tour stop, this time in Boston, Massachusetts. To stay up to date with everything Team USA, go to teamusa.org.